Hello, I'm Dr. John Tomasov. I'm here with Dr. George Chapman, and today we're going to be discussing uh, IBC, which is inflammatory breast cancer. Uh, some of the symptoms that we look at initially are rapid increase in breast size, redness of the breast, skin hot to the touch, uh, persistent itching, thickening of the breast tissue, and sometimes an inverted nipple, and it's usually normally backed by heat. Uh, Dr. Chapman, some of the problems that we have with inflammatory breast ca uh, cancer is identifying it. A lot of medical doctors even miss this one. And we know that uh, mam mom mammograms are difficult to pick this up. In fact, they usually don't. Uh, we've had the patient that we're looking at now uh, had a mammogram, also ultrasound, and uh, MRI. And they all didn't pick up the inflammatory breast cancer. Uh, would you discuss the benefits of thermography, because we were able to pick this one up uh, with thermography when everybody else missed it. Could we go back to the previous? It was up, 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 uh, up two slides back. Higher. Sorry about that. A little more. Okay. We're not at the place. Keep going. Keep going. There you are. Okay. Good. That's mainly what I wanted to uh, be prepared for. All right. Looking at the inflammatory breast carcinoma as IBC, uh, it's something that received an awful lot of press about a year ago because it wasn't being picked up by uh, mammograms, ultrasounds, or MRIs. Uh, doing a thermogram, this lady here, this patient, had an MRI, she had a mammogram, she had an ultrasound, was told that there was nothing wrong. Two weeks after that particular procedure, this is the examination as it showed up with inflammatory breast carcinoma. Thermography picks up the breast carcinoma very, very early in the, in the development of it, and you can see it's just as red as can be compared to the contralateral breast or the opposite breast. A uh, very significant difference. We sent her back to the hospital and said that they'd missed it, and of course everybody said, no, you didn't miss it. And then they looked at the thermogram, they went back, and for two weeks they did all kinds of uh, various testing, and sure enough, she ended up with two cancers, and it had already metastasized to the master lymph node. So it's very clear on the thermogram, completely negative on traditional testing. Yeah, and in fact, you can see, even in the lymph node area here, that uh, there's a big difference. And uh, something also when we look at inflammatory breast cancer, this, this type of cancer actually is really aggressive. And uh, not only is it in older people, but it also can be in young people. And so uh, a lot of times uh, young gals that we, ladies that have had uh, different types of symptoms, it's definitely something that could be checked out easily and with no radiation and no compression and uh, extremely accurate in developing uh, a proper diagnosis for in this patient. So it's something that almost anybody can see just looking at the picture. You can't deny that it's there. Yeah. And uh, it shows up frequently on women under the age of 25. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's all? Yeah. We're done.